Hey everybody, welcome back to Big Red EDC. Well, we are kind of rolling through our affiliation knives for February. Uh, we just had our Blue Creek knife, the uh, uh, Blade Runner Systems Navajo. Now we're taking a look at our Smoky Mountain affiliate knife, the CRKT Dextro. The first 2023 from CRKT uh, that I have gotten my hands on. But what do I mean by affiliation knife? Well, guys, you, you guys use my affiliate link. I turn that right around every single penny to buy a knife to review and end up giving away on the channel. So, yes, this one will be given away eh, maybe about a week or so. We'll see. I don't put any deadline or anything on it. I just wait seven, ten days, usually a week, and we take a look. But this is the Dextro from CRKT. Now, I know in the past... Every year they come out and I kind of, I give CRKT a hard time sometimes. I do. Um, and normally it's about prices versus material. You know, that's what it is. Uh, I always like to see what they come up with. They do come up with some fantastic designs. They work with some fantastic, fantastic designers. This is actually a TJ Schwartz design. So, you know, that's just kind of my view on it. We'll see if that holds out with the Dextro here. But what, what do we have? Well, anodized aluminum handle right off the bat. Got a little bit of, as you can see there, you've got a little bit of micro texturing going on that the grip is okay. It's not fantastic. As you can see, my thumb's not really skipping along. It is kind of sliding. Now you do have kind of that little bit of milling on the handle to kind of aid in your grip, which it does. So that's good. That's a good point. Um... The construction chamfered out very, very nicely, and you've got a you've got kind of a cool pop of color. You've got these anodized. You got the backspacer. You've got the pivot collar. This anodized green. I kind of like the way it looks. I'm not a huge green fan, but it gives it a little bit of flair, a little bit of pop. So you know what? I'm kind of digging that. Now you do have a lanyard hole there, so lanyard fans rejoice. Lefties. Unfortunately, oh, CRKT kind of kind of left you out on this one. You do have a loop over clip that wants to be deep carry, but it's not quite. <laughs> it's not quite deep carry, but it's not bad. Uh, recess screws, that's always a good thing. And then, of course, you have your overall construction, which, you know, is done pretty darn well. Uh, no issues there. Uh, pretty... Fairly open construction, I'd say you're like 70% 70, 70 open, but then of course you do have that green backspacer right there. It is a, you've got a flipper tab for opening, you have dual thumb studs, so that's a good thing. Multiple opening methods, that is very popular, obviously. You know, the holes better than studs people might be a little bit, even reverse flick, I did it with the thumb studs, yay, very cool. Um... This one, action is, it's not assisted or anything like that. Action is okay. It's running on IKBS ball bearings. Uh, like I always say, nothing has been done to this knife. Oh, we're not past the detent ball. There we go. There you go. Nothing has been done to this knife. It is how it was out of the box and with a little bit of use. So I can kind of check it out. I have not taken it apart. I have not altered it in any manner, any way, shape, or form. I don't do that before I show it to you. Just don't have a schmutz on the blade. D2 blade, as a matter of fact. And then you've got a, it's titanium nitride coating. Nice, nice looking blade. I like that. It's kind of a drop to a spear kind of blade there. Very cool. You do have a little bit of a choil going on. Does extend back. Your grind, is it too bad? No, it's not too bad on there. Decent point on it. Like I said, it is a TJ Schwartz design. There's your model number, 6295 on this one. Overall price, I'll just get that out of here. I think it was $56.99, if I'm not mistaken. Let me see that real quick. $56.99? $56.95. Okay, close enough. So we'll talk about that a little bit more. So the action is okay. It's not bad. Thumb studs jump out there pretty well like i said i did reverse flick it i'm not going to do it again because i'll probably screw it up yeah detent's okay trying to yeah 
it breaks and goes, so it's not bad. Yeah, not bad overall. Spec time. Okay, let's get to the specs. What are we looking at here in the Dextro? You got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, roughly about seven. Oops, let's zoom out a little bit. Seven and three quarters ish. Right about. Uh, handle length, you're looking at right about four and a half, which is going to give you right about a three and a quarter inch blade, which cutting edge is right there as well. So there again, we're over that three inch blade limit that we do have in a lot of states, Washington included. Not bad. Grip length, we're looking at about, from point to point here, we're looking at about three and a half. You could loop over your pinky and then you're pushing about four inches. That's how it looks in my three and three quarter inch hand. So it actually hugs my hand very well. Um, I like the way it feels in hand. Absolutely. So, uh, spec check. We did the spec check. Let's do our size comparison. That's what we want to do. So there you go. PM2 is obviously a larger knife. And well, let's get it pivot to pivot. Yeah, it's about quarter ish, quarter inch on each end for the PM2. And then our bug out. Where there it is. Bug out is eh, it's close blades are close blades are very close and the handle there the you got the dextro is pushing about a half inch on the handle as i said you do have a, trying to be a deep carry clip it's not super deep carry but it's not too bad quarter ish inch sticking out of your pocket and then we're going to talk about weight So 4.8. So we're definitely, definitely over that ounce per inch. It has a pretty good feel in hand though. It's not too heavy for me. And like I said, it actually using it, feeling it, 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 it's not bad. It does feel really good in hand. The pocket clip, very happy with that. I've had an issue with CRKT pocket clips in the past. Not an issue for me on this one. Really, really does feel good in hand. You've got a good feel um, it's kind of tall. It's not overly thick. What are we looking at? I think we're rocking it right about, um, just shy of a half inch, maybe 0.4, 0 0.4. 0 .4. So it's, it's not bad. It's definitely below that half inch mark, which is good. That's kind of a benchmark we've been using for a while. Some people do, some people don't. But in hand, I really, really like the feel of this knife. So, am I going to poo-poo on this one? You know, not really. I, I'm, I'm not going to really. Uh, aluminum handles, D2 blade steel, um, $56.95. It's not too bad. I know there's a lot of D2 fatigue out there. I get it. Understand. Yeah, it gets used quite a bit. Why does it use quite a bit? It's probably one of the most readily available steels out there. It's a tool steel. Knives are tools. It kind of makes sense to me. I know it's a lot. There's a lot of it. But, you know, I'm not too mad at this one, which makes me happy. It really does. I don't like to sit here and say, hey, CRKT, come on now. You know, this one's not bad. You know, you may agree. You may disagree. And that's fine. Do have a little bit of a ramp there for your thumb as well. But overall comfort level, being a tiny bit slick on the handle, and then, of course, it's not lefty friendly for my lefty friends. I mean, really with a knife like this, I don't know why it's not. You know, it could, well, I do. They don't want to mess up the look of the show scale. That's kind of what it boils down to a lot. Um, accessible for our lefties, absolutely. Um, you can get over there pretty well. And, oh, that's what I wanted to show you. You do have kind of some jimping going on on your liner lock. So it's, it's pretty easily accessible. There's not a large cutout. There's not really a cutout for it. They put the jimping on it instead. And I've, that's another thing that I've talked about in my CRKT is their jimping is kind of aggressive at times. And when I, you know, when I, if I need a good grip on the knife, that's digging into me, not on this knife. 
I like that. I really like that a lot. Um, I tell you, like I said, this knife for being the first 2023, 2023, yeah, 2023, that's what I'm trying to say, 2023 CRKT, I'm happy. I'm happy, guys. I, it hasn't always been that way. And this one, the Dextro, you know, not too bad. You, like I said, you may agree, you may disagree, but I'm not going to be too angry at it. You know, if we were pushing, now, I think it's probably on the upper level. If this was over $60, I'd probably say, come on, CRKT. <laughs> I'd probably be saying that again. Uh, but it's not. It's not. So I'm okay. You know, I'm not too mad with it. I think they've done a pretty good, and they did TJ Schwartz's design. You know, they did it a solid, which that's always nice to see. I, I've I've said that in the past. Um, you know, they have these awesome, awesome designers, and CRKT kind of, eh, it doesn't quite come out. But this one, not too bad. Not too bad at all. And like I said, this is our SMKW affiliation knife for the month of February. So I'll let this run, oh, again, maybe about a week or so, and then I will pick a winner from the comments down below. So... Not advertised as a giveaway. I do not advertise these affiliation knives as giveaways because this is my way of paying you guys back that are always watching my videos. My way of saying thanks. So thanks again, guys. Greatly, greatly appreciate you. I'm really happy with how my experience with the 2023 CRKT lineup has started. Hopefully we'll get some more in here to check out. Would love it. Uh, same way with Kershaw. And everything, we're checking out a few of the new models. So, guys, thank you so much. Like, subscribe, leave me that comment. You know I love talking to you. And definitely leave that comment. It just might win you a CRKT Dextro. Thanks a lot, guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.